this is an LED strip. I'm trying to find out where I got it exactly. I thought it was Amazon, but it might have been an eBay deal. They were incredibly cheap, and um, took quite a while to get though. 12 volt white. Very bright. And quite flexible, take a lot of abuse. I wouldn't, you know, purposely abuse them, but these have been flexed a lot and they still work. All right, I jammed four of these little um, strips into this metal channel. And this metal channel is a bookshelf, uh, standard bookshelf um, channel that they use to support uh, some standard metal brackets that clip into it from a hardware store. I just needed something that would fit these. I had to broaden it slightly and I really jammed them in hard. I'm kind of surprised they didn't break as hard as I jammed them and squeezed them and contorted them to get them in. I pop riveted the channel in with uh, four pop rivets which was a little more difficult than I thought it would be. And also I've converted the uh, headlights in this tractor lawn tractor. Two LED as well. So they got these uh, tower LEDs. And I got the same tower bulb in the uh, in this fixture I put in back behind the seat. It's got a multi-LED bulb in it too. And I wanted this tractor to be able to uh, have it out in the woods when I'm logging and, uh, or whatever and have enough light, number one, and number two, to uh, be able to run the lights even if the engine's off. But of course now I'm set up for snow blowing. And the reason for me uh, putting these on the front of the uh, intake here is I've had trouble seeing the driveway ahead when I'm snow blowing. All the stuff coming out of the chute kind of blinds you, depending on the wind. Um, it can really block the light coming out of the headlights to make it hard to see ahead of you and the light in the rear also helps with snow blowing for uh, just when I'm turning around on the road people make sure they see me coming and going